the Below Mansion. And we had a discussion tonight called Redefining News in the Media Age. It was sponsored by the Dallas Bar Association. This is Sean Williams with DallasSouthBlog.com, coming to you live from Below Mansion in downtown Dallas. Just had an opportunity to serve on a panel discussion with the Dallas Bar Association called Redefining News in the Media Age. It was also, uh, also co-sponsored by the Press Club of Dallas. There was a great panel. Uh, I'm just, not just saying that because I was on the panel, but it also uh, contained Bennett Cunningham, CBS 11 investigative reporter, as well as Doug Swanson from the Dallas Morning News, who also does investigative journalism. And one thing that always surprises me is just how many people get involved in this conversation on new media. Uh, for instance, Toby Shook was also on the panel. He is uh, obviously in the state. He has a really big case coming up out of Paris, Texas, also that he's prosecuting as well. Uh, did the, the Texas 7, and he was involved in this discussion. So whenever we talk about what's the next step of media, What's going to happen to newspapers? Will bloggers be, ever be a credible source for news? There are so many people that want to weigh in on the conversation. And once we got through with the panel, a lot of people came up, had a lot of questions for me, asked me what was my take and how we're going to make this nonprofit news thing go. Uh, ask me how is Dallas South News going to become profitable? And we mentioned that we're going to have to have a lot of support. We're going to have to have donations. We're going to have to have volunteer writers. But most of all, we're trying to empower the community so that people can tell their own stories. We we want to give young people digital cameras, we want to give them flip video cameras so they can cover the news. We want people, seniors in the community, to know that they can go on to Google, that they can go on to YouTube and learn more things also. So that discussion was held here tonight on what is the next phase of media. And what we found out is, we just don't know. That's the same thing we found out when we were at the Pointer Institute is we don't know what's going to happen, but we can't just sit around waiting for something to happen. So we all have to do our part, whether it is going down the city hall, whether it's pouring over a, a document. We all have to figure out what is our part in this. If you have a camera, you're a journalist. If you have a video camera, you're a citizen journalist. Uh, but it's always good to make sure that whatever we do, we do it with integrity, we do it with honesty, and we want to do the best job and promote excellence uh, through everything that we do. So. Uh, like I said, this was a wonderful conversation tonight. A lot of people were interested. There were representatives here from D Magazine, KERA, uh, a number of media people, but also lawyers from across the board. So it's a great partnership between the legal profession and journalism, but also we need to make sure now that citizen journalists get in on this conversation. So I will keep you up to date, not only on myself and what I'm doing, but also even some of the things that are going on with the panelists. And we'll do a much better job on keeping up with the Dallas Bar Association as well well as the J.L. Turner Legal Association as well because they're doing some great things. We got, just got a tip on an event coming up that we know that the Dallas South family is going to enjoy, but you're just going to have to come back and check, check back with us. So again, Sean Williams with DallasSouthBlog.com. Check us out. Let's see what's up. And email us, Sean at DallasSouthBlog.com. On Twitter, Sean P. Williams. Facebook, Sean P. Williams. Uh, you can catch us, but stay tuned.